<laughs> so welcome to our uh, JDBC applications. Uh, so in the previous tutorial we have made the connection with the uh, DB database and uh, right now we can uh, create an application which can uh, extract uh, data from a uh, database using uh, the select query statement and uh, right now we can uh, go for uh, this uh, database. Uh, I'm going to put some value into this database right now. So 100 and uh, AMA and uh, eng and 20 something finish it okay so this is the only statement uh, only one row one not one then uh, i can go for one more name so triple x and uh, so eng so something like uh, i'm gonna put some well under it so close this and uh, close this too so right now so using uh, the same using this application so I am going to obtain data from the database so right now so we are doing using this class dot for name and the connection and after establishing the connection so here is the statement so after the statement we need to go for uh, one more declaration that is called statement so this is the interface so which is used to obtain a record from the database and uh, one more interface is there that is a result set so result set is the interface which is uh, representing the data obtained from the database and uh, we are creating the statement object right now so stmp equals to connection dot create statement so this is the method which is used to create the statement right now so using the connection object and uh, this statement uh, object is uh, assigned to this connection dot create statement which can uh, be used to create the statement and that will be assigned to this one and right now the statement is uh, ready with the connection and uh, next uh, we can go for results at rs is equal to so stmt dot execute query so in the execute query method we need to specify the query so i just simply specify so select star from emp that's it all right so this is the statement to which i need right now so and then i can go for the method uh, sorry not the method so loop while so the necessity of this uh, loop while is uh, is that uh, so the result set object will be having the data that is uh, written from this EMP database and uh, that will be iterated uh, uh, in while loop so means uh, the data will be iterated in a while loop so the while loop uh, will be having the statement something like while rs dot next okay it indicates if there is any more record means if uh, the result set written true if there is a record then the result set always return true until the end of the record so in rs.next we are going to execute system dot dot out dot print again. so that's supposed to be somehow we can go for plus rs dot this string so we need to go for the name of the column so get string which is uh, nothing but uh, id right now and plus double quote slave space i'll go for any slash t character and a plus rs dot get string so we're gonna go for e name employee name plus double quote and go for slash t plus rs dot get string 
within double quote we need to go for dsg plus double quote slash t plus or start z string so it is supposed to be salary so this is the statement uh, that we require right now so after this uh, before the while loop i am going for system dot out dot print ln I'm going for ID slash t slash t and uh, name slash t and dsg slash t and salary and one more output statement I'm going for for the iPhones all right so after this uh, we need to close the connection so connection dot close that's it okay once the connection is uh, established we need to close the connection after complete uh, transaction with the database okay so the next uh, we can uh, compile this application and run it all right we got the data from the database so this is what actually the data that we have given in the database db so here in db under emp table we got uh, two rows and uh, those two rows will be displayed over here so id name designation salary and these are the data and uh, here in this program we will be having uh, rs.getString rs.getString and uh, getString uh, so these are the id and ename designation and salary are the name of the columns which we have given right now over uh, here in the database and uh, they will be obtaining here using the object rs rs is the result set obtained from the database and that result set will be coming from stmt.execute query so execute query will be having a, a string message that string message is supposed to be any sql statement that statement is a select star from emp right now here and uh, this stmt is the object which is uh, created with a statement using the connection object using the connection create uh, statement method and uh, this uh, entire program is used to connect and uh, obtain the data from the database okay so once the database is uh, uh, established the connection and after complete transaction we need to close the database using the connection that close and this uh, connection dot close is also going to throw an exception that's why we are, we are catching this uh, exception so that will is going to throw an sql exception so normally we are catching one exception statement here only as an exception which is a super class for all the exceptions and here this is the program so that we are uh, using to select the data from the database so this is up to this tutorial you can see more on jdbc applications in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial